Another important thing to remember is that you're designing for touch. This means recognising when unexpected behaviour could occur due to two tappable elements being close to one another. Apple say the average finger span is 44 pixels. This has become somewhat of a golden number to remember in iOS. One of the easiest ways to look out for where mistaps could occur in error is to create a document of common UI element sizes. This is something I learned to do very early on. OK, so designing for touch targets is an interesting problem that comes up that many people do not think about during their design process. We're going to look at this in the wireframe stage because it's really important and can change the way that your design actually ends up. So I hold a file in Photoshop and Sketch of semi-transparent overlays set to common sizes. When I say common sizes, I mean the common sizes of hit targets. And by hit targets, I mean the size of our finger, the average finger span. So we must remember that we're not using something as specific as a mouse. We're using fingers and thumbs in order to create the gestures that we need within our app. So we must think about the sizes of those hit targets that we want people to hit with their fingers. So the average finger span is apparently 44 pixels. Apple have said that the minimum hit target that we must use is 44 by 22 and double that if you're going straight to retina artwork. So our artwork that we're creating in Sketch is already retina size, so we're actually going to be using the larger sizes of any of these hit targets within this document. So all I've done is created hit targets at those sizes. You can do exactly the same thing, and I suggest that you do and you just save it because you'll use it for every single project going forward. So over here, you'll see the size is set to 88 by 88, which is the hit target size for our artwork. So you can actually download this document yourself from the notes section of the course. All you have to do to use this is simply select one of the hit targets. So what we're going to do is overlay these hit targets in our design just to make sure that there aren't any problems with mistaps occurring. By mistaps, I mean any sections or any elements of our user interface design that sit side by side. If they're too close to one another, it means that someone may hit or be intending to hit one button or section and actually mistap and hit something else. It's really important that we resize the design at this stage to stop any mistaps from happening. So I'm going to go ahead and use this 88 by 88 hit target. So I want to overlay that on any buttons that we have within our wireframe. Just going to hit back to our wireframe document. I'm going to go to the first section of our wireframe document and I'm just going to paste in that semi transparent overlay. So you'll see you can drag this around the canvas wherever you want. I'm going to overlay this box on top of anything that we wish to be an action within the app itself. So I'm going to go ahead and overlay one on the save button. I'm going to copy and paste that out. This is an action for adding photos, so I'm going to add another one in here. I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing down here, which is going to be our icons for whether we've had a bad day, an average day, or a good day, and also do the same thing with add location. So this then shows us everything on our design that is tappable. Now, we won't have any problems in this app, luckily, with mistaps because of the way we've designed it. But for example, if this section here was just a little bit lower and a little bit to the right, not that we would do that, but I'm just showing extremes to, so that you can see how these are used. If two red sections overlap, it means that you've got a problem where something might be mistapped in error. So if someone wanted to add location, they may tap the average button. So you would have to sort this out at this stage. So all this does is just a really quick way of looking at whether the design that we've done at this wireframe stage before we do anything with it is going to cause us problems at a later date. So by having this file on hand, all this does is just give us access to those different types of targets. So if it was something that we were wanting to access with our thumb, for example, we would overlay this much larger target. They also say that the minimum space between tappable elements should be around 12 pixels, or that's 24 pixels if you're using retina design. So I also use these 
just to double check that anything that we are clicking on has that minimum size between it. So we have to be a little careful there. But the important thing to remember is that those touch targets of 88 by 88 actually mean that the element themselves doesn't have to be 88 by 88. So the icon that sits underneath these red um, sections will not be that size. It just means the clearance space around each of those. So we've got plenty of clearance space around these icons themselves. So nothing on this page is going to cause us problems at a later date.